hi guys and welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel this is two wheels 254 this is your two wheels 254 your preferred online taxi driver as you may call me and uh, today okay uh, it's a beautiful morning here in Nairobi Kenya Nairobi Kenya has been amazing and it's been uh, Saseni, Melda, Sasa. So, uh, it's been amazing, 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 amazing video. It's been amazing days. It's been amazing month. It's been raining, raining cats and dogs. It will be. It's been raining cats and dogs every single day. It's been raining cats and dogs, and uh, if when. Uh, it's been raining cats and dogs. This, that's a word they say. And uh, it's been amazing, amazing days. Uh, we've never received such heavy rains. The, uh, it's been flooding. Actually, most of the time it's been flooding. And uh, I'll be showing you shortly some some videos uh, on how it's been raining very, very heavily. And uh, it's been hard doing uh, this... Uh, the job or on the taxi job especially especially now that's been raining you know there's some uh, areas there's some areas that has they have been raining heavily that even a vehicle cannot pass and uh, you know uh, doing this job uh, like uber 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 job it's uh it requires you to go to different places uh different totally different places and some places have been they're having a lot of floods, a lot of floods, floods, and the roads are um, impassable, so you cannot pass through those roads, and uh, you have to now, I don't know what, uh, you cannot, you cannot, you can just, just pass through, uh, you, you just be swept away by the floods, and uh, so what has been happening, like I think uh, a few days ago, a few days ago, what happened, I picked a passenger, I think in Kayole, and uh, in, in Kayole, yes, those sides of Kayole, and we were coming all the way to Kawangware. But unfortunately, we stayed, <laughs> we were stuck on traffic for five hours. Five good hours. Five good hours. We were stuck at the traffic because of the rains and the traffic. You know, in Nairobi, two things go, don't go hand in hand. Rain and traffic. When it starts raining, there'll be... There'll be a lot, a lot, a lot of traffic. You agree with me, the people who stay in Nairobi, and uh, you may get stuck for a very long time, uh, which which happened, which happened a few days ago, and we were there from actually nine to around two a.m. in the morning, and uh, the, the 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 client was patient, and we ended up. <laughs> becoming friends and we made a lot of stories with you know you don't have anywhere to go there's no way you can go back there's no turning because they were saying the Kanguna road was uh, really was really flooded and the water was too much so we ended up staying on uh, Jogo, on the Manyanja road for five hours and which is understandable and other parts actually some houses that have been submerged uh, I'll be showing you some some of the clips at the end of the video, and uh, it's really it's really it's really hard, especially for us who are Uber drivers. We suffer during this time. Actually, when it's normal rains, actually it's not very bad, but now when it starts raining heavily, it becomes it becomes the working working can become hard, or you can just stick around. So you can just go to where the rains are not. Uh, they are not flooding much, but uh, right now I think the whole country is raining. The whole country, the whole whole country is raining, and uh, it's a bit uh, it's a bit hard for us to work. But anyway, anyway, anyhow, we gotta do what we gonna do. Bills gotta be paid, and things gonna move. So whether it rains or not, we have to go out. We go, we gonna go out here. And hustle every single day, every single day, every single time. We're gonna hustle each and every day. We're gonna make ends meet. That's what they say. And uh, today, Nikoapa Inje, Tunatoka. 
but it's about to rain as you can see it's about to rain you see you can see the clouds are dark and uh, yeah yeah it's about to rain you see even this wall the wall has fallen down this uh decorating high school the wall has fallen down this because of the rains you can see heavy rains heavy rain so that's the wall it's, it's really it's really been raining it's really been raining and uh, we thank God for all this and actually the, I think the statistics are saying that uh, I think uh, uh, around eight, uh, 80 people have uh, succumbed to death on, on the floods 80 people 80 100 oh, 80 80 yes 80 something 85 or something they've, uh, they've already been swept away by the floods and uh, I don't know what to do so, so because uh, some people even they were crossing. If you have watched uh, some clips on YouTube, uh, people you've seen people being uh, they were they were crossing a river using a road lorry, and uh, <laughs> and unfortunately the lorry was swept away. And that's that's what happens in Kenya. People dare, people they dare, they dare, they dare to not to be locked by the rains, and they don't fear water. And they end up being uh, they end up being swept away by the rain. So, and it's a very sad thing. We have not yet learned from uh, previous uh, flooding and mistakes because this is not the first time uh, a lorry has been swept away. No, 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 it's not the first time. So, uh, there are some instances. A lot of other people have been swept away by floods here in Kenya, and it's because they don't respect. They they ignore. They live in ignorance and they think that they dare, they dare the rains, they dare the waters, they dare the waters and you cannot dare a natural thing man, it will just, it will just kill you immediately and nothing, and you will do nothing about it, you will do nothing. But also there are some, uh, some say, speculation, uh, people, uh, okay, they have been blaming the governor of Nairobi about the floods. At the, the roads have been poor, but it's only their second term. This, you see, these mistakes actually in Kenya, we are using still the the colonial drainage system, the colonial drainage system, which was small and the population also was small, and uh, they were they were no 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 there were not much people, there were not many people as they they are now in urban in urban Nairobi as they are they as as Kamavle Kulikua before. It's not it's not the same. The population is growing each and every day in Nairobi, and uh, and uh, so and a lot of people are daring and daring and daring and daring, which is something very dangerous, very very dangerous to do here in Nairobi. So yeah, so I'm starting my job right now, right away, right now. So I'm. Um, uh, uh, I have to go to this office uh, in a, in a, in in Upper Hill and sort some issues. One, two, three issues on about online this online driving. My account was closed. On I I talk, that's a story for another day. But my account was closed and uh, uh, today I'll be doing I'll be doing. <laughs> What will I be doing? I'll, I'll just be going, I'll be heading to the, to the office to sort some issues and then I'll be back. It's a story for another day. I don't want to, to talk about it today, but I'll be talking it later on, on during the week. And uh, uh, we shall be... I'll tell you what happened on that fateful day. And there's, uh, and there's a lot of issues. And uh, Anyway... Uh, I, was, I just want to talk about the floods today, the, sort of about the floods in Kenya, the rain, and I uh, just want to urge uh, people in Kenya, uh, I want to tell them, don't dare the rains, man. If it starts raining and you cannot cross the river, ah, don't cross the river. Don't, don't cross, don't dare the waters, don't dare the waters. They will sweep you right under your feet and you will do nothing. So stay, stay safe, stay... Uh, Stay safe and uh, and uh, stay on higher grounds. Also, stay on higher grounds and uh, 
don't cross the river when it's flooded, don't dare the water, don't get pressured, and uh, you'll be safe and you'll be fine. You'll, at the end of the day, you're juggling with your life. Life, uh, I will not, you will not have the second life. You just have only one life. And if you're swept away, if you're swept away, you will just be swept away, and you will die. Let me say, you will die. <laughs> you will just die. When you're swept away, you'll just be swept away, and you'll die. So, yes, so just stay cool and just uh, hustle. My fellow drivers and people who are driving, also people who are on foot, please. And also our airport, our airport was actually really flooded and uh, that's another story for another day because I don't have the, I, have, I don't have the car to talk about our airport or any other thing about uh, uh, these parastatals and everything in our country. Uh, it's not bad you can talk about it, but I think some uh, I think some some other things, uh, especially uh, international airports, need to be to be renovated. I think they need to be renovated, and uh, because this 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 is a big place. This is something that brings a lot of revenue, and this is the entrance to. It's the it's the entry point uh, to the world for the world to come in our country and an outlet to our country so so it's something that needs to be they need to think about it very fast and just do the and do repair and do repair and uh, so yeah it's, it's been actually our roads also need to be repaired and they need to look for another alternative because and drainage systems oh those are issues that need to be they need to be talked about the drainage system, uh, our roads, uh, our drainage, our drainage system, our roads, our our airports, the entry point to these big, uh, big, 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 big places, and even our houses. We need to know how to to work. Even because you've seen uh, safari com houses uh, there in Sukimau, uh, being <laughs> the place has been flooded until you just you can only see the roof. See now that's a dangerous zone also, and the people need to build houses where they are on higher grounds. All come with an alternative, uh, something else people can. Uh, people can just uh, people can uh, other places uh, to, uh, drain it. They can come up with a good drainage system where water can be drained and uh, so that it cannot be flooded cannot be flooded so yeah but also I think the agricultural sector will be affected <laughs> also because rents are really 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 a lot they are, the rain is really the rain is a lot and uh, I think if you planted I think you see also the waters uh, the waters uh, the plants also didn't, don't need a lot of really really a lot of water they don't really I don't, they don't need a lot, a lot of water. They, will, they just need enough water to sustain them. And if a lot of water, they get a lot of water, they'll start drying up or something else will happen and they'll be shoot. You see now the problem with also Kenya is that anytime there's a lot of water, we don't have a way of collecting this water. And immediately after this rains, there'll be drought. <laughs> That's the paradox. I don't think that's the paradox of living in Kenya. We have extreme. When it comes to extreme, it, it's just extreme. Then when it comes to also a drought, it goes to extreme. Now, you see, it's uh, probably, it's, it's not a nice thing when you, everything is just extreme. When you're having uh, water, you're having a lot of water. Well, you know, we're having also, when you're also having drought there's a lot of also drought and uh, it's not something good but you can see you can also see on the ground uh, it's very it's really clean and uh, it just shows how it just shows how water was rich how, how the floods how the places were you can see some waters water it's a, it's always rains uh, when it's around 8 8 p.m. It starts raining at around 8 p.m. But during the day it's just dry. Yeah. As you can see. As you can see. As you can see. Yes, it's really dry.
dry right now. It's really some only some few places you just see water. Some few places, some water, 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 water. So when it rains, actually this whole place becomes flooded. The water is just full. It's just full, and uh, you can even uh, you can just you can just miss the road and go by. I just miss the road, but anyway, just Nairobi, Nairobi, Nairobi. It's a place of waters, actually, cool, cool waters. That's the name of Nairobi. But also, we need. To, I think the government should come in and just. Uh, okay, the citizens first should take care of themselves and be safe, and then the government of the day should just check on this and. Uh, I think they talked about uh, giving uh, around four billion for repairs of the roads and all this to sort all this, and which is a good thing. So uh, you can see everywhere, everywhere is a uh, bit wet. So that's the nini. So yeah, uh, that's someone who does. Th those are uh, those are uh, for gym. We call them the gymnastics. Yeah. The, the stones, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. I mean, you're, okay, for they are, they are for gym for doing the, the gym and the lifting weights. Yes, lifting weights, they are weights. So, yes, so can see. This is where this Kangwari, that's where Kangwari starts, and uh, I'll be going slowly because I want to know where this place is. So that I can start. Around, it's around eight kilometers from here, so I'll be heading there uh, as uh, an office and do some uh, and do and do some. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, about eight kilometers. It's eight kilometers, yeah. And southern and they also there's weather alert. They're saying southern Kenyan floods. Kenyan floods. It's, uh, southern Kenyan floods. I don't know what that means. But uh, we'll still continue with the uh, floods actually in Kenya. Uh, these are our buses. If you haven't seen our buses, these are our buses. They're called city shuttles and uh, city shuttles. These carry they carry from uh, actually from uh, they carry from Kangore all the way to town to Nairobi City. Nairobi City, yes, Nairobi City. Yeah, we're in Nairobi, but we are on the on the outskirts of Nairobi, which is we are right now at Kawangware. And uh, those are the buses that operate. Uh, they operate from Kawangware now to city center. can see this is what we call buses our buses our buses
that guy that guy wants me to carry he's very drunk actually <laughs> and he's crossing the road and he wants he's telling me to open the door and I'm still on, on the move I just ask I was just waiting for him to pass and he's telling me to open and I cannot open the door I cannot open the door so. and this is the junction from Kawangware now that is that is 46 now this is the Kawang Naivasha this actually this road is called Naivasha road this road is called Naivasha road and uh, the other road is called 46 road which is called Kitanga road that goes also it go, they all the, the both the, this road and the other road also all of them go to to Nairobi city center yeah they go to city center but there is uh, two different routes yes two different routes but they go parallel i can say parallel parallel they go parallel to Nairobi also, these are our small matatu, 14-seater matatu. So these are stages coming. Right? These are Naivasha Road. These are... Uh, it, it used to be called a BP. And these are also the 5-seater. I don't know. There's 12, 10-seater. They go to Kabiria. This is now the market, Kawangore Market. As you can see, that's Kawangore Market. Market. That's why you can see a lot of people and these are hookers all over. You can see those bags, good bags there. Yeah. So also you can just uh, this, this is the market. The market goes from there. Market, the market, the market. That's the market also. That's where I did my. You see the senior park. That's where I did my driving. That's where I did my driving school. Yes, and uh, yeah, so this is Naivasha Road. We are on Naivasha Road. Uh, Naivasha Road. We are on Naivasha Road. At least here, Kunanga, Kunanga traffic up and Yes. This Kawangware area, this Kawangware. This is Kawangware. Kawangware, Kawangware, I don't know what it means, but I think Ngware means morning. I think people, I don't know, It's. A, I think it's a Kikui word, if I'm not wrong. It means something, uh, a morning, something morning. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. If there are Kikuyus, they can just uh, say what Kawangware means. Kawa, Kawangware, Kawangware, I don't know. This is Kawangware, and uh, uh, it's, okay. it's okay, it's okay, Mostly okay, most of our buses don't have stage, like, like they don't have a bus stop. So most of them will see them stopping on the road, dropping and picking passengers, as you can see. They don't have actual, actual, actual bus stops or bus stages, but they, they just, they just, uh, they just pick passengers and uh, they drop anywhere, anywhere. They pick from anywhere. But when you start to go, when you start saying you want to, uh, to get out, they tell you to you wait until you, they get to the stop. But it's not true. There's no stops here. So most of them, they just stop at the junction and just pick people from the junctions. They are most junctions, yeah. Mostly this, this, uh, these things are used for carpet, carpet use, these ones, as you can see. Uh, they are used for carpets. As a carpet, like carpet, or you can use them to cover some things. Yeah. And uh, before, way, way back before, we used to use them for, there are some gunias. If you live in a Mabati house, you used to, <laughs> uh, okay, I used to live in a Mabati house way back before. And uh, we used those gunias to cover the roofing, you see. When you live in a Mabati house, they, 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 they live inside, it's like, you, you don't you want to see the Mabati. So what we used to do is just uh, buy those uh, things and just cover, we cover the walls with the gunias. I know people understand them. Those people have lived in slums or, I don't know, these slums, Kabira, Matare, they know what we used to do. 
We used to buy those guneas and uh, cover cover our walls with those guneas. And ipo tu nuko na unaishi. Kuna kuna tuingi ni kwa ni kwa ni kaka wa unaishi kwa lavi ni kwa unaishi lavi nyumba kwa tu iko ni kaka fiti. You don't see them abatis because the abati the abati is used to be very rusty. Uh, very rusty. Now, kiangalia mabati, mabari, mabati used to be mabari. Uh, I'm just one, to, uh, I'm just 20. Mabati used to be very boring. So, now we used to cover those uh, walls with the kunia so that it can look at least good and, uh, and uh, very attractive actually. And when people peep on the wall, People used to people like people used to chungulia. They find uh, like when you are doing your things there, you're cooking and you're doing or you're cooking other things. People were used to like and after kashimo and a chungulia. I don't know how to put. They find like a hole in my body and they peep inside to see what you're doing from inside. And it used to be very irritating. Yeah, that's one another reason why you used to put the the gunia because. <laughs> There's nothing to look. Uh, you, you couldn't see anyone on the other side, so it was nice. It was a nice innovation. I don't know where it came from, but it was something. It was very nice. It was very nice. Yes, and uh, and so I'm heading to. I'm heading to. I'm heading to to Valley Road. I'm heading to Valley Road. Uh, this place is called. Uh, you can see this is called Riara Road. This place is called Riara Road. Yes, we left. We left Naivasharo. Now we're in uh, Riara Road, and uh, it's a posh place actually. It's a very posh, posh, posh place. And uh, these are now houses, and this is a uh, junction mall. They are building another thing. I know this is a construction site, but this is a big mall. It's known. People, a lot of people know this. It's uh, the one you're seeing here. There's a mall called Junction Mall, and. Uh, yeah, the entrance is the front there. I'll be taking videos. I'll, I'll take a few for a tour there someday. But we are going through the Riara Road. Uh, for the sake of filming, I'll just be using this uh, Riara Road. Yes, this is Riara Road. Now this is the junction also. It's from that side. Now it's going all the way to that end. That small end there. And uh, lately, there have been oh, uh, there there been a lot of construction along this this road. And it's one of the busiest roads in Nairobi. Yeah, and yes, we are taking a tour, small tour. We're taking a small tour. So that's how we park we park on the side of the road. Because there's no, there's no parking, there's no parking this side. And if you park, you have to pay for the parking. If you find a parking somewhere, you have to pay for the parking. Yeah, so... But uh, I'll just be showing you, this is a Riara Road. This is a Riara Road. But oh, if you've watched my previous videos, if you've watched my previous videos, uh, I used to take a lot... When I, when I used to have motorbikes, when I used to have motorbike, I used to go around uh, giving people directions. I used to go around giving people directions. Okay, I used to show people roads and all that. Then I stopped because uh, I didn't have a camera at that time. At that time, I didn't have a camera. I was using my phone. I used to film my phone. I attached my phone on the helmet. I used to attach my phone on the helmet. And then um, I put the camera looking at the road. Then put some uh, rubber bands to hold the camera. Yes, and uh, that's why where I started. Uh, is if you can watch my previous videos, or carry someone. So I used to carry someone on the back, and a pillion. I used to carry a pillion on the back. Then she or he goes filming the road, and it used to be very expensive. You see, because I really wanted to show people like Nairobi, how Nairobi Express was being built. But I didn't have someone. I needed someone to to take videos, and I cannot. I cannot. Hold a camera. I cannot hold a camera while I'm when I'm while I'm uh, I'm riding. I could not hold a camera when I'm riding. I am riding a bike and I didn't have a stand. I couldn't hold my my phone actually because I was using my phone when I'm riding. So it's used to be very hectic, very hectic, very. 
it used to be very complicated and uh, but i tried i tried i tried a lot and uh, i made some videos a few videos and i really wanted to show people every inch of nairobi and kenya also because also i travel around uh, nairobi and outside kenya uh, outside nairobi in other counties and um, i really wanted to show people out there nairobi how nairobi looks like this is still nairobi this uh, you can see that is a kima university college it's on riara road you can see also the buildings the buildings are very tall Building are very tall, very tall, very tall, as you can see. And you, 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 you and it used to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that time it used to be very hard to film the way I'm filming, but unfortunately the time passed. And uh, but I really, I, I would really want to go back to riding a motorbike and showing people around because I think motorbike is more easier and more. Penetrating, you can penetrate easily from one place to another, very easily and very, very cheap means of transport. It's very easy and very, and it's the cheapest means of transport. So, especially in Nairobi, where the traffic, you cannot predict the traffic. So yeah, so I used to ride that motorbike, but I sold all of them because of, <laughs> I sold all of them. But I, I would really, I would really love, I would really love to to go back to motorbike and do videos all over the world and travel the world with a motorbike every single day, every single, every single hour. I would really love to do that. But unfortunately, 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 I, I, I can't do the same. So. Because right now I need to make ends meet, and I do I do taxi, and uh, but I love doing videos. I love video. I love photography. Photography has been one of the best thing I've done ever since I came to transport industry. I've been doing photography. I love a lot of photos, and uh, it's only that uh, photography Kenya. You need a bit of connection to do some events. And that um, I missed that, and uh, I missed that opportunity, and I landed myself in. I landed myself in transport industry, and I will continue. I, I said I'll continue. I'll continue telling you guys. Uh, I'll continue telling you guys why I, how I, I came into, how I came into uh, motorbike uh, border border, as it's called here in Nairobi. How I came to Nairobi to be doing a. Uh, doing uh, videos I uh, know not video I came to be doing border border how the journey I think I, I think I can continue from this uh, from this point or I'll just take another video and just uh, tell you guys how it this is Kilimani now we are to Kilimani and this is Kilimani a lot of you have heard about Kilimani yes uh, most of you have heard about Kilimani if you know Nairobi you know Kilimani no, definitely you know Kilimani. Kilimani is one of those places in Nairobi that has been had a lot of controversy. A lot of controversy. Uh, they are constructing, you can see the construction going on that side. And uh, yes, uh, Kilimani used to have a lot of controversy because um, some issues were because of I don't know they were forming a lot of groups. Okay, it's a business. I think I, I say it's a business place. Most of people the business. Okay, there are people living here in Kilimani, but it's uh, where most companies, big companies, have really developed, become big, and it's a central place. It's near Nairobi. It's actually ten minutes to Nairobi. Uh, it's ten minutes right to Nairobi, uh, city center, and um, yeah, and it's a very convenient place. Very convenient place, but uh, uh, you've had Nairobi car wash wash. That's where wash wash is being done, and all this. A lot of a lot of stories. You can you cannot find a story about Kilimani. A day or two cannot pass without hearing a story from Kilimani, and uh, yeah, and it's been it's been it's been very controversial actually. People living here and people working here every single day. And a lot of celebrities actually love coming here 
for parties there are a lot of clubs around Kilimani and you know where clubs are and you know Kenyan Kenyan culture of drinking it's very bad it's very bad Kenya has a very bad culture of people drinking and you don't know where they got the money from and that's where cow wash wash comes in the illegal money and all sort of things are just come out here in, uh, here in uh, Kilimani and uh, yes 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 but uh, there's a good business here in Kilimani also a very good business if you want to start a company a big company uh, I think a good place to start your company is Kilimani because it's surrounded by it's surrounding is very you'll get honest opinions you'll get uh, it's a it's a mixture of it's surrounded by slums <laughs> also <laughs> high people middle class people and uh, yeah middle class people live actually here and it's, uh, it's one of these places uh, yeah, yeah. you can't miss it on uh, you can't miss when you visit Nairobi you can't miss it you can you can see now here it's a, there are a lot of potholes as you can see you can see you can see those potholes they are very humongous it's they are deep and the road is this is not uh, this road is called uh, this called uh, this road is called what i don't remember the name of this road but uh, the portals are just if you can see that car it's trying to move because ah the portals are deep portals are deep and the waters everywhere you can see the waters also all over they fill the potholes so you don't know if the wall so this also makes the vehicle you cannot they, they you know one thing about portals and uh, vehicles and water they don't go hand in hand so this is this is this is Kilimani Yaya Center near Yaya Center this building calls this building is called Art Life is very known it's, uh, it's a it's a good one yeah, so I was say, as I was saying, uh, portals with cars and uh, rain. It's just, uh, it's just something else. It's just disaster. Just a disaster. 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 Yes. So yeah, this is Kilimani. A lot of buildings are coming up, but they are not fixing the drainage. The drainage is really bad around here. So. This is now this is called Ring Road. The, this road is called Ring Road. Uh, that is the Yaya, your way to Yaya Center. Uh, but this road is called, I, I don't remember the name of this road. I don't know why. And I've been coming here every day. Uh, so, uh, this is, uh, I'm passing through. I don't want to pass through the main roads because there are traffic lights and all those. So, I'm trying to go in passing in uh, in some routes some routes in Kilimani Kundanindani see that vehicle that's romantic that's a good vehicle man that's a good vehicle man so Mercedes Benz Mercedes okay a good it's a good one so you can see the buildings here yeah so So yeah, so um, let me say, uh, as I was saying, uh, the drainage in Kilimani is very bad and uh, it needs some fixing very fast because this place is, is about to get populated, populated because it was not like this a few years ago actually, but they're saying because of the, this, uh, <laughs> It's a, it's a bit something I don't want to mention here on camera, but it's becoming congested uh, day by day. High-rise buildings are going up, and uh, the governor also has uh, has uh, has agreed to that. And I said, uh, yes, it's a it's a good thing to it's a good, it's a good thing for let Nairobi grow. And if you need to buy land, you can buy from 
other place and build if you want a home. But here it's just. Uh, I want to go. I want to go near town. So it's near CBD. So I'll be taking this route. Let me take. I'm avoiding the main roads and uh, I'm using the roads of Kundani Dani. It's called Marcus Gavi. Marcus Gavi Road. Marcus Gavi. It's called Marcus Gavi. You know the musician, yeah? This is a road named after him. I don't know why. He's not Kenyan. But anyways. Anyways, anyways, any house. Yeah. You may be seeing this. Uh, you can be seeing this, my GoPro. It's not working, actually. My GoPro is not working. Yeah, uh, it's not working. It's not working. So, I, I'm shooting with another... Uh, another... Another... Another, another. I'm shooting with another camera, Sony, a Sony camera, and it's uh, yes, because my camera here, this camera is not working. It's a good for. I used to take the roads. I used to put it on the on the dial, but the videos quality also are not good, because I got it at a cheaper price. I got it at a cheaper price, and uh, yeah, the quality was not good, so I ended up not using it, and it got spoiled. Got spoiled. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to this office. I'll be showing you what we discussed there. I'll t I'll tell you after we discussed there what what really happened. I'll t I'll give you the story, the full story. It's one of the apps that I use for online driving and uh, something happened over the weekend and uh, yeah, uh, it's a bit complicated but I'm going, they blocked my account and uh, I'm going to explain to know why and explain to them what happened, really happened and uh, because it's very unfortunate, very unfortunate, yes, so let me go there. There. It's around, you see, you can see this. This broody wood, Kilimani. It's a mocha bistro. This is still Kilimani. This is still Kilimani. I'm still in Kilimani. I'm still in Kilimani. And, uh, I'll be taking a left here. A left. Left turn here. Take a left turn here. And, uh, Yes, this is beautiful. Nairobi is beautiful actually. Come to think of it, Nairobi is just a beautiful place. Apart from the dramas and everything, Nairobi is just a beautiful place. Yeah. Still, man, this is called this is the hotel called it's called Parwaridi Paradise. Parwaridi Paradise. This is called this hotel. The front, the one is front of me is called Four Points by Sheraton. I think it's an international hotel. It's called Four Points by Sheraton. I think um, a lot of people know it. A lot of people know it. And uh, yes, I'm actually 1.2 kilometers away from that place. And uh, yes, I'll just I'll just cut. Uh, I, I'm almost ending my video. Almost ending my video. In a shortly, yes, yeah, shortly. Now, this is the road I, I was avoiding all throughout because of the traffic, you can see. Yes, I was avoiding this road all throughout because of this is called Orwin Kotek. Orwin Kotek Road, Orwin Kotek. It goes all the way to town. So, I'm about to end my video, I'm about to end my video in a kilometer's time. But uh, we can be talking. And if you haven't watched uh, my videos, uh, please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you can do so and support me through your subscription. And um, 
to make me you can also encourage me to uh, if you subscribe you encourage me every day to go out there and shoot a lot of content yeah because uh, it, it really takes a lot of time to shoot to, uh, content and also resources as you know because it's uh, yeah and uh, something i love doing videos and photography i can do it for even entirely for for all my life bringing you content and everything from different places around Nairobi and Kenya also and also Africa if God willing if God broadens my wings I'll do that gladly <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the, this place is called Halingam Halingam this we are at Halingam <coughs> the roads actually are very clean because of the rain water it's a really stopped away video almost ending my video almost ending my video so in a few kilometers I'll be ending my video and uh, yes and yes and yes this is Halingam Halingam DOD DOD Kenya Defense the Kenya Defense Forces in Mekula Mayai na shrub kama kitu ingine shrub shrub na twang na shrub English anyway this is Nairobi, this is DOD, that's the word for DOD. I don't want to feel it's not it's not it's not it's not advisable to go to, 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 to shoot there because uh, it's been really restricted area, no video, no shooting, no video shooting or something else. So yeah, it's not good to shoot this. This video can be brought down. Uh, yeah, so I cannot do that. So that's not this is Hallingham and uh, in a few, I think 200 meters, 300 meters, I'll be ending this. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can do so and support me through my channel. It's called Tools254. And also I have a different channel called Awazirim Ku. And you can go check those videos. Also on uh, Tools254, you can also check my my TikTok. You can also check my... I don't have an Instagram account on Tools, but I have... Uh, I have a Facebook page. It's called Two Wheels Two Five Four. Also, and I'll be sharing. The, I'll be sharing the links on this video below. You wanna share? where? Well, my my channels na apo my links. Also, so apo and you na ingilia. So I'm going to this. I'm going to this building. This building here. Yeah. yeah. So yes, I'm going. I'm going to this building over here i don't i don't know other place to go but, but let, me, let me just turn from here it's really good to turn from there but yes i'll be ending this video here and thank you so much for your time and uh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thank you so much god bless you cheers